Damn! What's wrong with these people? Now somebody else is trying to come and attack us. This time they're from the north, and they're calling themselves Shu. I'll face the Shu army and take them on myself. Meanwhile, dear, if you can manage to sneak around behind the enemy, then we'll be fine. King Meng Huo refuses to forgive those that try and take our land. All of you that call this land home, I shall protect you! Left unfulfilled. Uh, enemy officer devoured! Require strategy? My death has come. Enemy officer devoured! <laughs> if they're so eager to die, it means they have to a fight. These are worthy opponents. Running away! Yeah, yeah. Yeah Let's push them back! To die on the battlefield. Such good fortune. Enemy officer devoured!
show no mercy. What's going on? We're supposed to be invincible! Enemy officer devoured! Your skills are without equal. We must follow their lead. It appears the enemy lines are crumbling. Behold the power of my juggernaut. What the? It's spitting fire! The enemy commander? Prepare yourself! Enemy reinforcements are headed this way! Watch up the bases before they come out! And we'll be happy to oblige them. The enemy commander is mine! <laughs> they won't be getting any more backup now! Officer devoured! Someone behind this trick! Find them and rip out their throats! This should be over shortly. The enemy is blocking our reinforcements. has only just begun. You thought your stupid toys could stop us?
show them a thing or two. Hey, I brought along a little friend of mine. Feel the awesome power of my beast unit. <laughs> Darling! Sweetheart? My way! It appears the enemy lines are crumbling. This should be over shortly. My intellect will not be outdone by your shallow skill. Shall suffer for that. Smash you all to pieces. Allow us to lend a hand. Fantastic. Now it's my turn to impress you. Challenge you. No, get up. Get up. Get up. Oh, I have failed to realize my plans. Enemy officer, devour! Victory is ours, sweetheart. You bet it is! Our land is free again! And with all of you by my side, I will be the greatest king of all! Phew! I hope you understand that non-jong means business now. If you think you can conquer us, you're sorely mistaken! Everybody, I want to thank you for fighting so hard! Yellow turbans, Wu, Chu, they've all fallen before me. Now there are none left to threaten our land. A golden era for Nanjiang is about to begin! A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is known in one kingdom as a veteran of great ability. It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Meng Huo from the land of Nanjiang. The king of a Nanman tribe, Meng Huo was especially known for his extraordinary strength and his reckless nature. Despite his rough character, 
he still had a tender heart, which made him loved by his people. The chaos that originated in the north began to make its way south into Nanjong. Ming Huo, in an effort to protect his lands, decided to unite the many tribes of Nanman together and rule them as their one great king. Meng Huo and his wife Zhu Rong set out on their conquest of the Nanman region. They fought and prevailed over the beastmasters King Duosi and King Mulu. Additionally, they challenged and defeated the armored troops of King Wu Ge and Wu Tugu. Tensions along the northern border grew over time. The outside threat helped to unify the Nanman tribes, eventually allowing Meng Huo to realize his goal of becoming great king. Soon after, Zhuge Liang's forces appeared along the border. Meng Huo marched his forces straight into the enemy lines to stop their advance, while Zhu Rong took advantage of the local terrain and harassed the enemy from behind. The mighty strategies of Zhuge Liang could not overcome them or the people's love of their homeland. Although the land was still engulfed in chaos, it was the least of Meng Huo's worries. So long as he remained the Nanmang king, at least his people would be able to know peace. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. the perfect time for us to attack them. Nah, why bother? What do they have up north that we don't? I got my darling, and I got my home. I don't need anything more than that. 